what's up it's noel back with another video this week is going to be awesome it's october can you believe that we finally made it to october i'm sure you've looked outside the leaves are changing it's getting so cold it is so wonderful i love it i don't know if you guys love it but i do and today guys this week we are talking about how noah built the ark and how god called him to do this and kind of why god wanted him to build this ark and we're going to see what happens maybe you've heard this story before maybe you haven't but whatever happens i hopefully today that we're going to learn something new or just a really good reminder well, let's not waste any time let's get right into this video of how noah built the ark this story is found in genesis 6 and it talks all about why god did it and exactly the measurements of how noah was supposed to build this ark and all of the little details so we're gonna read it and we're gonna see why god asked noah to build this ark so guys our key verse this week we're gonna start off with it it is in acts 5 29 acts is in the new testament but the story we're reading about was in the old testament but it still relates to each other Acts 5.29 says, We must obey God rather than men. Now, that doesn't mean that we shouldn't listen to our parents or our teachers. That just means if man, humans, you know, are telling us to do something that's against what God is telling us to do, then we should always obey God first and not what man is telling us to do. And that's what Noah did and what we're gonna learn about today. So along with our key verse, our key point is that God wants us to obey. Yeah, like I said, it's hard to obey. Our parents, our teachers, or whoever it may be that's in charge, but we have to obey God because he knows what's best for us. Let's begin learning all about this story of Noah. Like I said, this story is in Genesis 6, and it tells us that God wants us to obey. So back in Noah's day, people fought and thought mean things about each other, and God wanted people to obey him. So these people, they were doing bad things. So God asked them, who will say they are sorry and be kind? Not I, shouted the men. Not I, yelled the woman. Not I, grunted the pigs. Not I clucked the hens, not I hissed the snakes, not I squeaked the mice, not I hooted the owls. I will, God wants me to obey, said Noah. Noah was the only one that was willing to obey God. So God said, I'll send a flood of water because people are disobeying me and being mean to each other. But Noah obeys me. I want Noah to build a huge boat so Noah, his family, and some animals will live. Who will help me build this ark? So Noah obeyed God and he started to build the ark. Noah worked hard for a really long time while building the ark. Noah cut and sawed and sanded and pounded until finally the ark was done. His family helped him. Noah's family was his wife and three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Weird names, right? Would you, could you imagine your name being Ham? That'd be kind of silly, wouldn't it? So his family helped him. So now God asked, who will help load food onto the ark for the animals? So Noah loaded food onto the ark. Then God sent the animals. Two of each kind. Maybe you've heard that before. If you've ever seen a photo of Noah's Ark and there's animals around it, you'll probably see two of each kind. There was a male and a female. So onto the Ark galloped horses and zebras and elephants and hippos, all sorts of animals. Every single animal, two of each kind. Even the birds, even the snakes, even the slugs, even bugs, I'm sure, were around there somewhere. But there were two of each kind. So finally, they got all the animals on, and Noah and his family were ready to go inside the ark. And when they went inside, God shut the door behind them. I don't know how. I don't know how, honestly. It was crazy. I'm sure 
It scared them a little bit, but God found a way and he shut the door behind them. So, as soon as it got on, it started to rain. And it rained and rained and rained. And I'm sure there were people who wanted to be on the ark now. Like all those people at the beginning who said they were not going to obey God, they weren't on the ark. It was just Noah and his family. So, who wanted to be on the ark now? Well, I wish I was, shouted the men. I wish I was, yelled the woman. I wish I was, grunted the pigs. I wish I was, clucked the hens. I wish I was, hissed the snakes. I wish I was, squeaked the mice. I wish I was, hooted the owls. I was on the ark. I obeyed God, said Noah. See, Noah obeyed God. He built this ark. He took the two of each kind of animals and his family, all because he obeyed God. He was safe from all of this rain. He was safe from the flood. God wants us to obey. When we obey God, we live as God wants us to. And we can be like Noah and obey God too. See guys, we all disobey. I can think of times when I disobeyed my parents and even some people like at church, like my Sunday school teachers. We don't always listen, do we? We don't always obey. And what happens when we don't obey, especially when we get caught, there are consequences. We get in trouble. We sit in time out, we get grounded, we're not allowed to go do things or hang out with our friends. And it's sad and it sucks and nobody wants to be in trouble. Now, we're gonna find out more about how God flooded the earth and what happened afterwards. But we know that God flooded the earth because he wanted to get rid of all the evil and bad people who disobeyed him on earth. It's pretty intense, I know. But that's what happens when we don't obey God. We're gonna suffer the consequences. Now today, we have a little bit easier way of asking for forgiveness. And it is hard to obey God still, but when we mess up, we know that God loves us and he will always be there for us when we do mess up. So guys, I want you to ask God to help you obey him this week and anybody else who is asking us to do good things. See, God wants us to obey. So here are some ways that we can obey this week. Here are three ideas. Make your bed in the morning before you go to breakfast. Using stuffed animals, show your family what happened with Noah and talk about how your family can obey God like Noah did. When your mom or dad ask you to stop doing something, stop right away without complaining. Those are just a few ideas, but there are tons of ways that you can obey your parents. And by obeying your parents, we are obeying God in these kinds of ways. So remember this week that God wants us to obey and he loves us very, very much. I hope you guys have a good week. I hope school is going well. Enjoy the cooler weather and enjoy the leaves changing because it's beautiful. Have a good week. We'll see you next time. Bye.